long time no see guys but it wasn't my fault like i literally did not have wi-fi so i could record videos but why bother if i can't upload them so i've gotten a lot of decks recently um i've been traveling though. i was living in an rv with no water for a while but i want to focus on these three now this one i have already unboxed these ones um not so much so this one is bridge witches um the box is a little bit strange now bridge witches is this is the second edition and this one is by killer pancake um her name is genevieve barbie turner okay and it's about i believe pittsburgh yeah, about Pittsburgh. So, Bridge Witches. I'm gonna like slide by quick because um, otherwise we could be here all day. But that's very cool. If you're familiar with Philadelphia culture, then. Very good for you. I like the artwork. Um, it's a different kind of concept for the tarot. The multi, you know, ethnicity. Now this one is named differently than the Rider Waite Smith, but it is based loosely on Rider Waite Smith and the book tells you what it is. I believe that the cicadas are stencils, the fences are swords, yeah. Um, Then we have the cups, and so the last one is the trees, and that's wands. So that's that one. So the cups, bridge which is my color pancake. All right, so that's one. The mat that this is all on here. Let me just scoot all of this over a minute here so I can show you this is from the Divine Muses Oracle. Now, I ordered this on Kickstarter. Um, yeah, love it. So, let's look at it. Love the mat. The book is very nice, too, and everything is so buttery. I don't want to wreck the cards. Alright, so nice pouch that came with it. Nice, nice. And let's see what we got here. I went through and already looked at this one and put my favorite cards in the front. So you get to see the ones I was most drawn to. this deck. It is a collage deck and it is by Marie Bento. Um, it's called the Divine Muses Oracle. It's lovely. The paper and the stock is just lovely. It's got a texture. Um, it's just very different. I like collage decks myself.
last but not least, I have not even removed the plastic from this one. This one is called the Alfred Hitchcock Tarot, and I just received this yesterday. And I wanted to open it, so I challenged myself to do an unboxing. I'm so glad I did because I've been pretty absent, you know. Tragedy um, can take over sometimes. So this one comes with a huge book that is in color with each card logo. And this one, here's the box, is Alfred Hitchcock Tarot. And this one is by... Welkin. I'm not sure if that's the person who published it or like the author's name, but I'm assuming that is the author. Alright, so here are the backs. Nice, simple design. They're bigger than your average tarot cards. They are glossy. I know some people hate that. But you know, sometimes it's okay. Clubs. So we have clubs. I love it so far. Yeah, it's from all uh, Al Alfred Hitchcock shows. Under Capricorn. watching them as a child and like they were always so odd but you know what my sister loved them and I lost my sister so I got this deck because she would be amazed by this like, and she would know every episode and all of these people in it so it's a way to know my sister better and it's fun <laughs> Sliding around that glossy card. That glossy, glossy card stuck. Oh man. This matters, but I love the deck. It's very cool. tuning in. If you like this video, please give it, give it a day. Give it a day. Huge thumb up. And if you like this kind of stuff and you want to never miss out when I upload a video about tarot decks, then please hit that little bell and subscribe. Thanks guys. Keep you out. Talk to you soon. Promise.